Section 7.5, Division of Polynomials. We're going to be dividing, and example one is 18x cubed y minus 6x squared y plus 12xy divided by 6xy. We have a trinomial divided by a monomial. We can split it into the three parts and see that each part of the trinomial is divided by that monomial. So 18x cubed y divided by 6xy minus 6x squared y divided by 6xy plus 12xy divided by 6xy. 18 divided by 6 is 3. x squared, uh, excuse me, x cubed divided by x is x squared. y divided by y is 1. Minus 6x squared y divided by 6xy, which is going to be x, plus 12 12xy divide, divided by 6xy, which is 2. 3x squared minus x plus 2. Each term of the trinomial was divided by the monomial. Example 2. 24x squared y squared minus 18xy plus 6y all divided by 6xy. Each term of the trinomial gets divided by that monomial 6xy. 24x squared y squared divided by 6xy minus 18xy divided by 6xy plus 6y divided by 6xy. 24 divided by 6 is 4. x squared y squared divided by xy is xy. So our first part of our answer is 4xy minus 18 divided by 6 is 3. xy divided by xy is 1, so it's minus 3. Plus 6 divided by 6 is 1. y divided by y is 1, but we still have an x in the denominator. 4xy minus 3 plus 1 over x. Make sure that that x stays in the denominator. Okay, here's example 3 and example 4. And we're going to start with 78 divided by 3. We're going to do the long division of 78 divided by 3. 3 divides into 7 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract, and there is one left over, and we're bringing down that 8. 3 divides into 18 6 times. 3 times 6 is 18, and it subtracts to 0. 78 divided by 3 is 26. Example 4. x cubed minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. This time we're dividing by x minus 2, which is a binomial. Different from examples 1 and 2, where we divided by a trinomial. We need, I, excuse me, where we divided by a monomial in examples 1 and 2. We're going to set up our long division of x cubed. We don't have an x squared term, so we do need to write plus 0x squared minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. Now we need to think x times what is going to give us x cubed? x times x squared is x cubed. So now let's multiply x squared times x is x cubed. It's going to be minus x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Please put that in parentheses and then subtract. x squared, excuse me, x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 0x zero squared minus negative 2x squared is positive 2x squared minus 2x. Now we need to think x times what is going to give us 2x squared. And we're going to say it's plus 2x. 2x times x is 2x squared 
minus 2x times 2 is 4x. Use parentheses and carefully subtract. It's going to be negative 2x plus 4x, which is 2x minus 4. x times what is going to give us 2x? It's going to be a plus 2. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. Watch your signs. Parentheses around it and subtract. And it subtracts to 0. So x cubed minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2 is x squared plus 2x plus 2. Example 5, 86 divided by 3. Again, let's do our long division. 3 multiplies into 8 two times. 6, and there are 2 left over. 3 times 8 is 24. 26 minus 24 is 2. Our answer is 28 and 2 thirds. We are not writing R for remainder. We're writing 28 and 2 thirds. Now let's look at example 6. 6x six cubed plus x squared minus 18x plus 10 divided by 3x minus 4. Take your time and set up your division. 6x cubed plus x squared minus 18x plus 10 divided by 3x minus 4. 3x times what is going to give us 6x cubed? 3 times 2 will give us the 6. And x times x squared will give us the, six, uh, the x cubed. So 2x squared times 3x is 6x cubed minus 8x squared. Carefully subtract. We're going to have 9x squared minus 18x. 3x times what gives us 9x squared? And that's a plus 3x. Carefully multiply 9x squared minus 12x. Watch your subtraction. It's going to be negative 6x plus 10. Three X times what gives us negative six X and that's a minus two. It's going to be negative six X plus eight. Watch your signs when you subtract and it's going to be two. Just like we had a remainder with our 86 divided by three. We have a remainder here. So the answer to our division problem is 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 plus 2 over 3x minus 4. There. That is how we write it when we have a remainder with division with polynomials. Example 7, 6x squared plus 7x minus 5 divided by 2x minus 1. Two x times what is going to give us the six x squared and it's a three x. Watch your subtraction, and we have 10x minus 5. 
2x times what gives us 10x, and it's going to be a plus 5. And it subtracts, and we, our remainder is 0. So 6x squared plus 7x minus 5 divided by 2x minus 1 is 3x plus 5. Example 8, 4x squared plus 7 plus 8x cubed divided by 2x plus 3. We need to be careful when we write our problem here, and we're, we need to start with our highest exponent, which is 8x cubed plus 4x squared. We don't have any x terms, so we do need to write plus 0x plus 7 divided by 2x plus 3. 2 times 4 will give us 8. x times x squared will give us the x cubed. So we'll start with 8x cubed plus 12x squared. Carefully subtract negative 8x squared plus 0x. 2x times negative 4x will give us negative 8x squared. Again, careful with the subtraction and your signs. We have 12x plus 7. 2x times 6 will give us 12x plus 18. Carefully subtract negative 11. In this case, we do have a remainder. So our answer is 4x squared minus 4x plus 6 minus 11 over 2x plus 3. That's section 7.5, division of polynomials.